Well, my name is Roy S. Root, and that S stands for Shalron, S-C-H-A-L-L-E-R-N, named after a doctor, my dad's uh, best friend in Wisconsin. And uh, my folks moved here from Wisconsin to, well, they moved to Philo Farms out west of Jupiter, and it eventually was named Rood. And I was born in Rood, Florida. I spent a year in Rood, Florida, moved into Jupiter, and uh, spent 90 years. You knew everyone, and uh, in other words, you uh, knew everybody by their first name, and like I say, you knew their cats and dogs. When you went in the yard, they knew you, you know. You didn't have that many people, both white and black. There was probably 300 people in the community. I'm, I was graduated from Jupiter High School in 1936, and I was in the top four of my class. And they say, well, Mr. Rudy, how many were in your class? And I say, four. Well, I think the old Bowers Brothers store over on Egan Fusky Street in Jupiter, just south of where the Economy uh, Station is there, the Economy Tire Station. And uh, <clears throat> that was there when I was a boy. And you could buy anything from gasoline, a quart of oil, or a hooked cheese sitting out on the counter. And, or you could buy clothes. It was, a, 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 what do you call a store that sells clothes and all like that, a department store. Besides the grocery store, it was on the other side. So that old, it is still there. It went through all the hurricanes. Well, I didn't know it was named the Unity Church, but <clears throat> I would have called it the old, it was originally, just a community church. And I'll tell you how it started. The, 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 uh, this old schoolhouse was right across the street to the west where the playground is now. And in that, uh, <clears throat> in that schoolhouse, we had church for the whole community. I didn't know much about the governing. I just knew who was mayor, you know, and I knew who was the chief of police. <laughs> I was driving my mother back and forth on an old Model T Ford, and I wasn't old enough to drive. I was about 13 or 14, but you learned to drive early with a Model T. All you had to do is know which pedal to push. The, the, the left-hand pedal made it go forward. I, uh, we skipped school one day, and we thought we were very smart and we thought we had everybody outsmarted. But uh, <clears throat> the teachers, you can't do anything in a small town. It's like on board a ship. You got a small community <clears throat> and you just find it, well, <clears throat> if somebody comes up to you and asks you if you did something and you did it, you better own up to it. And, <clears throat> and so uh, we skipped school and I'll always remember, I'd never been to a movie before and we went to the movie down at the old Kettler Theater in West Palm Beach. Now, the lighthouse itself, we used to go up there and play hide-and-go-seek at night, but I was involved with <coughs> playing hide-and-go-seek and, and having a good time as youngsters in, that, uh, in the lighthouse. And Captain Seabrook, I'm sure, he just looked the other way. Yeah. He knew that we shouldn't be up there. But uh, anyway, the lighthouse has been a symbol for us and uh, a symbol of, of, I think, stability. It stood all the hurricanes, you know, and uh, the fact that it, it's still standing today. <clears throat> the business was landscaping and nursery work. That's, I grew up in an area where there were nurseries and uh, fern sheds, so, so to speak, but, uh, and landscaping. And I didn't realize what an impact the work had on my life until I was ready to go come back. I came back from the service from World War II. I spent four years in, uh, in the Navy. And when I came home, I knew that I was going to go to work or go to school because Uncle Sam was giving us a free ride. And uh, I'd learned aviation 
and I thought that I wanted to be an engineer. So I signed up at Purdue University and I talked my brother into going and he was there already and I was gonna go join him. And I had six weeks to make up my mind. We have such a diverse culture here of people and what would be, what would be <laughs> dessert for one would not be dessert for the other. And that would be my problem today, but uh, for people my age, it's one of the greatest places to live in the world. Well, I think my fondest memories would be going to school, my teachers, the things we would do, we participated in most all sports, and we, uh, we went swimming together. That was one of the biggest pastimes you had, and it was really good in the summertime if you could go swimming after you'd been working out in the hot sun. Jupiter today is a very busy place, if you know what I mean. But uh, our area has grown, and but I think it's grown pretty uh, firmly and nicely. And when I say firmly, I think our growth has been such that it hasn't overwhelmed our, our population here. And I still think it's one of the nicest places to live. That one of the greatest things that ever happened to me in my life was to learn what the value of an individual was. And I realized that when you hire a man, you hire him for more than just his size, his looks. You hire him because God looks on him like he does you that he is a person and God loves him and he has a heart. And I'll tell you, my life became a different life. And I thank God for it. To obtain a DVD of the entire interview, please contact fineartvideo at gmail.com.